largely to do with the convergence of forces essentially. We've got uh, sensor technology uh, coming down in cost. There's a lot of competitive disruption, so there's a pressure on organisations in terms of performance, productivity. Uh, there's a desire to get efficiency. And I think um, there's good examples now of organisations that have done it, where they can show the value, they've delivered the value, and clearly there's a lot of discussion in the media and in the press, but I, in the events that I sort of support, host, we've got a chief service officer event for example, the majority of people now are embarking on projects, so it's largely about how and looking at organisations that have done it, and GE has got a huge track record as has ServiceMax in terms of delivering these sort of digital transformation projects. So we've done some market research recently, a research company in Newbury called Vance & Bourne has just surveyed about 450 organisations, US, UK, France, Germany, and what was really surprising um, is sort of the number essentially, you know, 8 out of 10 organisations are looking to invest in this sort of technology. They recognise you know, the, the critical importance of unplanned downtime in terms of solving it. Um, we've seen the consequence in the market. I mean, if you think about the UK, we've had some major um, critical situations in the last sort of 12 months, 18 months, which I won't go into, but you know, they've had a big impact on customers, on uh, critical capital equipment failing. So I think there's a consequence of that. Aberdeen uh, Research at Boston did some really interesting research recently where the typical cost of an outage uh, per hour was $260,000. Now if you look at, back at our research, the Vance Bourne research, they were saying that 82% of organisations um, had a failure, a critical failure, I'm talking about big capital equipment, in the last three years. And those typical failures were about four hours. So if you translate that into cost, that's around two million. And for some organisations, you know, think about oil and gas, or you think about electricity, you can't recover that lost throughput. You know, and for a manufacturing point of view, you know, if you get equipment uh, failure, which causes a production outage, not only have you got to recover that, you've got the lost productivity, you've also then got to make up the throughput that have gone through the, the plant in its normal operating model. I think sometimes it's, it's just the enormity and you know, the difficulty. You know, some manufacturers, asset operators have got legacy equipment um, and it's really you know, how do I go about you know, dealing with that. And indeed sometimes the customers, their customers are not in the mindset to, to, to make the move. You know, we're seeing a, quite a big transformation in, in the service industry. So I'm from ServiceMax, so field service transformation is moving to many outcome based business models now where the manufacturer or the service provider is, is guaranteeing an outcome. Yeah, it's like a, an availability contract. So as those business models change, so the technology to support, to de-risk, to mitigate risk for the service provider, the manufacturer, it, it is, is basically paramount. So I think for the two in 10, I think they're probably laggards, you know, in that traditional curve, as it were. I think if you look at a technician today, so a technician, uh, an asset operator, an inspector, you know, if you just look at the equipment they carry, the knowledge, expertise, I mean we have some challenges in the industry, we've got an ageing workforce so we're trying to attract graduates onto apprenticeship schemes, but if you look at the impact of technology, so a technician today is arriving on a critical asset, you've got some examples behind me, they know all the details, they know the, the usage, the data that's been collected from that asset, They've probably got signature data of an impending failure. They've got uh, diagnostic models through Digital Twin that are giving them the a guidance, essentially guide them through uh, diagnostics, um, you know, predictive path swaps, that sort of thing. Um, and the technology allows them to connect with their colleagues. So again, if they are in a, a situation where they're struggling, they can basically go you know, to live video or to supportive uh, technology where they can actually chat to colleagues or chat to a more experienced uh, engineer. So it's completely transforming, you know, I think we're going to see more and more as we start connecting up our drones, our inspection equipment, you know, into the, the, the ServiceMax app, for example, you know, where the technician is able to debrief the job, that information is immediately going back to the centre uh, almost instantaneously. A digital twin is a digital replica of a physical asset, so it could be a single asset like a motor, piece of switch gear or it could be uh, a fleet of assets or it could be a whole model of the plant 
Um, so again, from a technician's point of view, they can look at the asset, they can see its maintenance bill of materials, so what's been changed, what's been swapped out. You can model the impact of changing a component on the rest of the system. You can look at the consequence of making a diagnostic repair on one asset and then looking at the implication across your entire fleet across a country, for example. So it's, it's a way of getting ahead of those critical component failures, essentially avoiding unplanned downtime. And from a technician's point of view, you know, break fix is a very expensive game. It means that you've got to have resource on call 24-7. It's got to be available with the right parts, the right components, the right skills, expertise, equipment. If you can now get ahead of that by getting visibility, looking at the digital signatures of likely failure, you can basically plan maintenance, you can really manage the whole optimization and efficiency of that outage while that maintenance work is uh, undertaken, you know, minimum disruption.